Hi Dixons, I'm Lucy Rundle, Trust Primary Curriculum Lead and Vice Principal at Dixons Trinity Chapel Town. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our platform at www.dixonsopensource.com. This is the third episode of our mini-series on retrieval practice in our primary academies, so please like and follow for further instalments. If you haven't already done so, please see our previous videos on retrieval practice. Today, I'm going to talk about retrieval practice in early years foundation stage. It can be easy to overlook planned retrieval practice in the early years due to children's writing speed and stamina. Students in EYFS need to remember learning and make connections over time to commit knowledge to memory. Just because the students are younger and tend to learn through play doesn't mean retrieval practice isn't beneficial. In fact, the earlier you use retrieval practice, the better. It can be used in nursery, reception and beyond. It's never too early to start. Verbal retrieval will be the most common form of retrieval practice in EYFS. To reduce cognitive load while students are still at the early mechanic stage of reading and writing. However, there are plenty of strategies to incorporate retrieval practice into your EYFS provision. Telling and retelling stories again and again is a form of retrieval practice. Having a selection of books that you keep coming back to that the students know off by heart is so powerful. At Dixon's Trinity Chapel Town, we have a favourite five box, which is a carefully selected and also well-planned box of books that the children keep coming back to. Whole class verbal retrieval quizzes work well in an EYFS classroom. This is where you ask questions where everyone can give a visible answer individually. For example, agree or disagree. This way, the teacher can at a glance see who has remembered the knowledge and can use this formative assessment to plan ahead. You can use floor books or learning boards with photos and work the students have completed. Students can look back over the work and this provides cues to remember what they've learned. Here, students can look at their drawings and photos of previous learning to remind them what they did. This will lead to discussions and comments such as, that egg was where the chick came out of. I saw a cat drinking water from a tap. We made that massive tower. There is a lot of information coming from home that can be remembered in class through show and tell sessions or sharing photos from home. This will prompt students to remember what they did at home so they can share it in school. Although that this is not knowledge taught in school, there is benefit to be had from making links between home learning and school learning. In addition, having a knowledge organiser in EYFS that is shared with home is a great way to introduce retrieval practice to parents. Parents can see what students are learning and ask them about it at home. Conversations in snack and chat time and class discussions can also support retrieval. Prompts and cues can be provided which support the discussion and retrieval. For example, a photograph of fireworks on the board during snack and chat time will prompt students to talk about bonfire night and careful questioning can ensure links are made and knowledge goes into long-term memory. Adult and child interactions in continuous provision can be based on cognitive processing language, which makes students think about their learning. For example, using deliberate memory demands like what animal hatched out of the egg? Or strategy suggestions like if you can't remember, you can use this picture to help you. Claire Seeley suggests using the analogy of playing hide and seek with knowledge we've learnt but may have forgotten. Let's think and find that hidden knowledge. A cube has edges. Agree or disagree? A cube has edges. Oh, let me see. Oh. I am seeing lots of children with their thumbs. They agree. My turn. A cube does have edges. 
a cube. You do have a there we go. Oh, it's Zara. Can you tell us where were you here? At the seaside. Oh, Zara went to the seaside. Who did you go to the seaside with, Zara? My mum, my baby brother, my dad, and my sister. Oh, how lovely. Zara went to the seaside. What did you do at the seaside, Zara? I went in the seaside. You went, did you go into the sea? Oh, Zara went into the sea. Obstacle course. Did you build that part? And what was that? What did you have to do on that part? You had to, to climb on that. Thing okay. And then walk on it. Did you just walk? Yeah. Were you trying to balance? balance. Well done. But a sphere is. Oh, Ilias, is a sphere flat? I can do so. Oh, it's. What's that word? It's no. round. <gasps> it's round. I can do this. <gasps> Ta da! It sits on top. I think that's blue. But what we're going to do first is think about what colour is first in the rainbow. I know purple. Do you think it's purple? What do you think it is, yeah, Nima? I've seen a rainbow before when I was walking here. Can you think? Well, I thought maybe we could like sing blue. the song and then that will help us to remember what the colours are that are in the rainbow. Are you ready? Red and orange and yellow and green, blue and indigo and violet. Can you remember which one goes first? Red. Red. So do you think you can get some red paint on your brush? Oh, it's Zara. Come on, what's our snack and chat today? Yes, we were, weren't we? The house for the hedgehog. Fantastic. Can you tell us, Ara, what were we doing? <gasps> yeah. What did we use to build the house for the hedgehog? What did we use? Leaves. So, everybody, this is one of our stories from our favourite five books. And it's one of those books that we revisit again and again so that we remember the words. <gasps> Do you think you can join in with me today? Yeah. Okay, so our story is super worm. Let's have a look. Using retrieval practice means students in EYFS will recognise that their players are valued and they will make sense of what they are doing. Retrieval practice can be verbal and teacher-led to guide and support them at first. Floor books, show and tell, snack and chat can all provide support and cues for students to remember previous experience and learning. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share. I look forward to seeing you soon.